Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the uh, 14th of December 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, mark, tra signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. Okay, so looking at the European markets, then the uh, stats in Asian markets first and foremost. Let's just go through that, uh, given the fact that we had the FOMC meeting yesterday. Asian markets certainly down overnight, Nikkei down, Shanghai down, Hang Seng down as well, on the back of uh, obviously a uh, rate hike from the uh, FOMC. Um, also with regards to the tax plan, certainly going through or potentially going through as well, on the verge of going through, it certainly seems to be agreed. Although the dollar did fall on the back of um, uh, less than a hawkish uh, stance from the FOMC, but as we all know, they're all attempting the, uh, a dovish hike, okay? That's where we basically stand. Okay, so in terms of uh, concerns this morning or economic data this morning, you've had the main focus really is on Brexit, uh, the uncertainty regarding that, especially with regards to uh, Theresa May's mutiny, given the fact that her own uh, obviously uh, party certainly uh, voted against it, so it will be a democratic vote now with regards to Brexit going forward. It won't be a autocratic, um, uh, uh, shall we say, um, or dictatorial uh, vote going through in terms of Brexit. In terms of European data this morning, we've had stronger PMI data from the likes of France. Uh, we've had stronger data, uh, market PMI from uh, Germany as well, and Eurozone data certainly coming in stronger than expected. Now we are looking at retail sales from the US as well, so your UK, sorry, certainly coming in stronger than expected, which in turn has uh, helped European indices stay afloat to a large extent. Okay, uh, BOE decision really is uh, looming now, it's at 12 o'clock, so we've got an hour left. Let's see how the market reacts there. Okay, now in terms of uh, the technical picture, let's quickly go through that with you. Okay, so you, as you can see here, German DAX certainly, a, uh, uh, so we say, uh, wiltering on the back of uh, of a weaker dollar, uh, stronger euro, euro breaking through that 1.1830 level. Uh, of course, the uh, gap to be closed below, as you can see here, 60 minute chart certainly sold off quite uh, substantially. We are now into gap fill, so again, looking to potentially bounce and move higher. So. Gap fill support here at 10, 13, 0, 50. Okay, so that's basically where we stand. Okay. Okay, so that's fine. That's where we uh, currently stand in terms of the German DAX. So looking for gap fill support here for now. Let's see if we can bounce on the uh, German DAX. Also, coalition talks certainly started yesterday. So let's see what the uh, news flow uh, certainly filters out there. And again, we'll see the reaction in the market. In terms of the uh, French CAC daily chart at the moment, Again, I have been focusing on the fact that you are making that right shoulder. Uh, Euro breaking above 1.18, uh, again, certainly is uh, is certainly risk negative for European equities to a large extent. But that certainly has been factored in now with the actual uh, movement there. In terms of the FTSE 100 daily chart, as you can see here, holding that resistance just above 7.510, you've got resistance here around 7.514. So again, starting to reverse. Uh, let's just bring up a 60-minute chart now. Bear with me, it's certainly loading at the moment. <clears throat> Okay, not too sure. Okay, so it's disconnected. Okay, so I've got a uh, an internet error at the moment. Okay, well, I'll certainly call it quits there, folks, in terms of European indices. So again, like I said, uh, again, apologies for the internet connection there. So again, focus remains on European indices, given the fact that we've got the BOE in the next 60 minutes, ECB later on today as well. So it'll be uh, uh, very volatile. So let's see how the uh, markets respond to central banks. Uh, in terms of European markets, they've certainly seen weakness for now, given the fact that you've had a, a strength in the euro, also give regards to Brexit uncertainty as well. Uh, US hawkish, or should we say the rate hike in the US, certainly uh, dampening potential uh, bullish expectations, and Asian markets certainly weaker as well. So all those factors taken into account. Having said that, uh, the European equities certainly are supported by stronger data, and really uh, I'd certainly look, to look towards European equities for strength, unless Mr Draghi obviously... Uh, talks of the euro. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com. Take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.